Hello everybody, this is going to be a tutorial on how to beat Radiant Paymaster Shio. So for this, uh, the charms that I use are Unbreakable Strength, Quick Slash, Mask of Pride and Charming Stone. So with Shio, he's got four attacks that we have to learn and handle either all different colours so they're easy to recognise. But the ones that they are are the red one is a splash from the sky and then he drops down with an AoE. Uh, a yellow lance which goes horizontal across the screen. Uh, a blue which is a three splash attack and the pink one or purple. Uh, which is a heavy splash and then causes droplets to fall from the sky. So we'll start with the blue one, um, it's a pretty easy one, it's just three droplets and then we jump through the first and second one and that's also the one where we can get in some nail hits to get some soul. The pink one is the one where we need to do a desolate dive, that's why you need the soul. Um, <clears throat> it helps to iframe through uh, the attack itself but mainly the droplets uh, just so we don't have to deal with them at all. Uh, the red one, whether you're on the left or right side, just dodge between the first and the second one and then you can also go in for get an attack. Uh, just don't get in too close for the red one because when he drops he does have a little AoE around where he stood, so you will get hit. And the yellow lance attack, you want to be jumping over it and <clears throat> it can be a very quick attack, so I'd say um, there's two cues for it. There's an audio cue where it makes a particular type of grunt. Uh, so he'd listen to that one and recognise when that's about to happen. Uh, as well as he has a visual cue because he puts it behind his back. So um, both of those should give you enough time to react to it in time. Uh, a couple of things to watch out is for the blue one, he can go into two. So if you go into punish after the blue one, make sure to back up a little bit before he goes into his second attack because he can follow up with the second blue. Um, <clears throat> one thing I do when I get space, if I'm near a wall, Jump towards him because if you jump towards him, he has a tendency to jump back uh, and stay away, and that's a good way to get space. But yeah, and always remember to bow at the end. But yeah, that's how to beat Radiant Painmaster Shio. Uh, if you've got any more questions, uh, put me in the comments, or I'm live on Twitch on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, I also put the written tips in the description of the video as well, so uh, there's some notes down there for you. And if you enjoyed the video, then hit that like button, press subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video.